Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist where I talk all about health, pharmacy and beauty. Well, the topic of today's video is a little bit different. You guys know me as a pharmacist obsessed with health and beauty, but a lot of you guys don't know my obsession with fragrance. Well, ever since growing up as a little girl, I was not only obsessed about glamming up, but I had an obsession about perfumes and smelling great. And over the years, I've personally tried and tested many perfume hacks and figured out what really works. So I thought, why not share all of this with you guys as well? So in this video, I'm sharing my five favorite perfume hacks that are going to make you smell amazing all day. All right, so my first hack to make perfume last longer is to moisturize first. Dry skin doesn't hold perfume as well as oily skin does. So you wanna apply actually an unscented lotion or oil on the body and then apply your perfume. Well, remember the keyword is unscented lotion or oil because you don't wanna attack your nostrils or for that matter, anyone else's nostrils with that weird mix of smell. But what you can do is layer your perfume with the matching fragrance or lotion. Uh, you can also make your own matching scent lotion. I like to do that as a DIY. I just add a couple of sprays of my favorite, like, you know, everyday use perfume into an unscented lotion and then shake it well. And there you have it, a nice scented lotion at a fraction of cost. Another thing I do is I actually apply Vaseline on my pulse point to lock in that scent. My second perfume hack is to spray perfume on my hairbrush and then basically run it through my hair. Hair actually tends to hold on to smell really fast and for a longer period. And actually, have you ever noticed if you go to the kitchen when the food's cooking, that smell of food basically locks in your hair? Well, in which there's nothing bad in the smell of the food, but ladies, it's not elegant at all when you go out to meet somebody or at work and you smell like curry. No, you don't wanna do that. So my tip is one, you always wanna cover your hair when you go in the kitchen. That's gonna have two benefits. One, you're not gonna catch that smell of food in your hair. Second, your hair is not gonna fall in the food. Well, therefore, you always wanna apply perfume on your hairbrush and then run it through your hair to get that extra pop of smell. I mean, who wants to be basic anyways? Well, one thing to remember though is that I don't recommend spraying perfume directly into your hair because the alcohol content in your perfume will dry out your hair. So using a perfume brush will not only save your hair from that concentrated alcohol content, but it will also help evenly disperse that fragrance in your hair. Or you can simply grab a fragrance which is designed just for your hair to make it smell better and keep it fresh in between your washes. And my favorite hair fragrance is Gypsy Water from Byredo. My third perfume hack is to apply perfume right after you shower. See, what happens is when you come out of shower, your body is still damp. And just like oil, moisture is gonna trap the scent so well that it's gonna last longer. Plus, you won't stain your clothes and potentially leave spray marks on your clothing. Girls, if you wanna smell great and spice things up for that special moment, you wanna spray perfume on your lingerie or bra. However, I don't recommend spraying perfume on your underwear or for that matter, even washing them with scented soap because that may disrupt the pH down there and may result in irritation or infection. You know, nature has done things so right and perfect. It has its own way of keeping that area clean and balanced. So don't mess it up by using those vaginal washes or scented soaps. All right, moving on. My fourth perfume hack is to apply perfume to warmer body areas because it'll be more intense and remain fragrant for longer. You know, specifically, you wanna apply it on your pulse point where the blood vessels are running at the surface of your skin, like your wrist, your elbows, neck, chest, and back of your knees and ankles and calves. Basically any area where the blood vessels are kind of on the surface of the skin, it's because the pressure points basically naturally radiate heat and that helps the fragrance waft from your skin. Just remember, you don't wanna rub the perfume after applying, meaning, you know, I've seen a lot of people apply the perfume on the breast and then like rub it through. Don't do that because what happens is it breaks the molecules of the perfume and because of which the fragrance kind of fades away super fast. So always 
dab it like this. Don't rub, you guys. My last and final perfume hack for you guys is the storage of perfume. Yes, the storage is just as important as applying your perfume. A lot of people tend to store their perfumes in the vanity cabinet in their bathroom. Do not do that because heat and humidity can alter the molecular structure of your perfume, thereby the quality of your fragrance does not remain the same. It actually damages the quality of your perfume. This is why I emphasize again that do not store your perfume in the bathroom and also keep it away from your direct sunlight. Even if you place it at your dresser and the direct sunlight hits the dresser, then just keep it in a box just away from direct sunlight in a cool dry place. Also, don't shake your perfume bottle because shaking the perfume also allows the air to infuse in the fragrance and it shortens its lifespan. All right, so those are my five perfume hacks that I recommend you guys definitely try and let me know in the comments which one you like the most. I hope you enjoyed this video and found value in my experience. Comment below if you want me to make more videos like this in which I kind of just share my own hacks and DIY, not kind of really sharing the pharmacy knowledge and giving you lecture and stuff. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and like always, I'll see you guys next time with another awesome topic on health, pharmacy, and beauty. Until next time, take care. Bye.